Hey guys, it's Drac, and today I'm doing a commission for X Green X 212 on YouTube. He wants a really powerful long strike, and he wants a cool paint job, so I thought I would do green and silver, but what makes this a really neat mod job is that he wants a Maverick integration into a long strike. Now, I've done that before in long shots like the Spartan shot, but never into a long strike. It should be really interesting. I think I'm going to do it something like this, so it'll be detachable, and hopefully it won't get in the way of the clip feed, and I won't even have to shorten the Maverick Prime. All in all, this is going to be a really fun mod. I'm looking forward to putting it together. Hey guys, I make segments like this for myself to show me what all the internals look like before I even take them out of the blaster to mod them. And then I've also laid out this other end of the shell just to show me where the screws go in particular. In general, small screws go up at the top towards the rail attachments, and larger ones go throughout the body with the longer ones being in the handle to anchor the body together. Over here, I have the two accessories, the stock and the sight scope thing, and I will be taking both of those apart to paint them so they match the blaster. I might even do one of the clips. I've also got this, which I'm not going to touch until I integrate the Maverick into it, at which point I'll do that in two halves and paint them also to match the rest of the blaster. I'll skip on to the mods that I do to the plunger tube now. Alright guys, taking apart the long strike stock is a huge pain. You've got to come in with a flathead and basically pry apart each internal piece that holds it together. But once you get it apart, you'll notice that there's three screws on each half. And when you remove those, the clips well comes off. And you can take that off and paint it separately. I'm going to do that. It'll make this look really nice. Likewise, when you remove the three screws from the blue piece on the front of the barrel attachment to the long strike, you can remove this blue piece and paint it separately, which will give a really nice kind of flow to the paint job when I'm done. Here I've stripped down the front attachment to its bare bones, and I intend to integrate and cut the pieces so it'll fit on like so. Ought to be really cool by the time I putty it into place. This is just a quick segment showing you that I've even broken down this scope attachment to paint it so that everything will look really cool when it's put back together. Alright guys, so at this point I've finished laying down the base coat of green on everything. I'm just going to show you what I've done to this plunger system. Now you can tell that I've used some black tape to increase the compression on this and I also locked it into place which is nice. When you remove this, you can see that I've come in and I've Teflon taped under the O-ring very carefully and re-greased the entire plunger system. And then you can see that I've drilled out the air restrictor completely with my really cool bit. So this plunger system should be getting much more range and I can't wait to install it. For the Maverick, I've done all of the mods that I usually do. Now I'm going to go show you the silver pieces that I'm in the process of painting. Alright, so you can see here that I'm using that matte aluminum over my green base coat just because I think it gets a fantastic silver paint job and I really like the color it gives. Here are some of the pieces that I've painted silver. Pieces from the Long Strike and then pieces from the Maverick, pieces from the accessories, the bolt handle. I did one clip which was tricky and I've left it partially unpainted so I know it'll work flawlessly. The Maverick's barrel cap and then here's the actual Long Strike barrel as well as the Maverick cylinder. Not much left to do now, but put it all back together and show you what it looks like. I guess I'll do detailing as well. I figured I'd make one more quick segment showing you guys how I've put the internals for the integration back together and how I locked it in with epoxy putty on both sides as well as a hot glue overcoat so that this is really one piece now and is very sturdy. This segment here is just showing the internals of the long strike before I put it back together, including the painted pieces like the clip release buttons on both sides, as well as the trigger and the jam door, which has to be placed slightly in front of the bolt sled for everything to fit back together, and the rail attachments, they're a nice touch. I'm also making a special point of mentioning that this is the clip lock. It originally went right here in the blaster, and it's garbage. Get rid of it. Hey guys, it's Drake, and I finally finished the Long Strike mod. I decided to call it the Ice Drake because that's sort of what the commissioner asked me to, to call it, and I finished detailing it. As you can see, I put my signature in a few places on this custom scope. I put it right after Ice Drake, and it's also on the stock and on the front piece. 
Now, there are a lot of really cool things about this blaster. I made three clips for it, one of which is a silver clip that shows through silver. I didn't paint the top so it would work really well. I've got just minor silver detailing on the other two clips the commissioner sent me, just so he'll be able to tell that they're his clips. The long shot itself is getting very nice ranges with stock streamlines. I will fire it a few times. I really just, I love everything about the performance of this blaster. It works just fine with the attachment on and looks great too. I left the tip orange, so if he needs an orange tip, he'll have an orange tip. And I painted the front piece here on the barrel so that if he wants it to be completely painted, it can be. It also makes the integration really smooth. It looks really nice when it's put together fully. It operates in the same way that my Spartan shot operates with your thumb, or what's really cool is because it's detachable, is that you can take it apart and fire the Maverick like you normally would. I also, because the commissioner sent me some darts, took and made some of my custom streamlined darts, and as long as I had that Testor's silver out, I painted the tips of all of these bullets, so they're kind of Lone Ranger bullets. But if I take one of those, put it in this Maverick, I can show you that the Maverick can be fired on its own and also gets great performance. It's not quite as good as the Long Strike, but it's close. And I went in and painted the stock as well. It's also got a removable stock mod that works really nicely. The stock goes in like this. And the front attachment. So there's the completed blaster. And it just looks really nice. The commissioner also sent me a bandolier, but I don't know what to do with that, so I'm just sending it back. Um, in regards to the Tron Nightfinder giveaway, I have that ready to go. This one's mine, actually. Here's the white one. I will be ending the giveaway this Friday, at which point I will tell you what the random number generator selected, and I will ship it off to whoever wins. Good luck, everybody.